Welcome to the Wally Show Aftercast, all the stuff we did not get to during the course of the show today. Uh, this is kind of our Friday Aftercast, even though it's Thursday. Sorry to mess with you. Uh, Betty Rock and I are <laughs> off tomorrow because uh, I am uh, going to my nephew's wedding. Uh, and it's your so, wedding era. Again, it is. You have so many weddings this year. This is what oh I'm finding gosh, out. She sounds like it, such a little girl. I know. I love it. It's my wedding. It's my you. wedding era. Yeah. yeah. You're saying wedding era. Yeah. And that's yeah. what all the Swifties are I saying. Know. I'm in my so and so era. And and it's funny thing is, it's coming from him. I didn't even doubt it. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I am in my wedding <laughs> that's era. That's right. It's, there's a weird thing that's a phenomenon that I'm realizing happens when you're in your 20s or so. You end up going to a lot of your friends' weddings, sure. and you're broke as a joke. Yeah, and you and you've got you know 15 bridesmaid gowns that you've yep. gotten and that you could use again and it's never wear again. Like, and so you're like, okay, good, I'm done with this. But then years later, years later, when you least expect it, it sneaks up on you because all of a sudden your friends' kids are getting married, your siblings' kids are getting married, yeah. exactly, and you're like, oh no, I thought I left this behind me. I'm back in a round of weddings. And then you marry a lady who loves weddings and you have to go to all of them. I could have gotten out of every one of these easy because they're all travel to weddings. Simple. And my wife is like, absolutely not. We are going to every one of your nephew and niece's weddings. I'm like, ah, okay. And there's this one that's, it's, uh, my nephew is marrying uh, this girl who's Jewish and it is going to be a full blown Jewish wedding, like to the nines kind of thing. I have to like dress up really nice and everything. And it's funny because I was giving my wife a really hard time the other day. Uh, she's like, oh my gosh, and it's so cool. All the guys have to wear yarmulkes. And I, and without missing a beat, I go, no. And she goes, what do you mean, no? I'm like, that's not my religion. She's like, yeah, but it's just putting on a thing, you know, to, for the culture of it. And I said, so I'm supposed to betray my religion. What if it was to put on some uh, thing for, um, uh, you know, um, Islam? Mm -hmm. uh, why would I do that? It's not my religion. Mm -hmm. She's like, I know, but but it's it's based in your religion. It's where your religion comes from. I said, I know, but it's not my religion. And she looks at me and goes, please tell me you're kidding. Please tell me you're kidding. And I'm like, also too, it's going to make my hair go down and I don't like that. Oh, I can't have that. That's my bigger problem but than the religion. But it would cover up a good multitude of your scalp. You know what I should do is go, okay, I'll get a, I'll wear your yarmulke, but make it have hair plugs. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks natural for me. You should totally do that. I know. So, uh, yeah, so I will be going to that wedding. Then I'm officiating a wedding uh, for my friend's uh, daughter. Uh, so that'll be, that one I'm looking forward to. That'll be fun. And, I, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing family at all the weddings and stuff, because I do like seeing my family. Uh, my mom's going to be there, which is great. Um, but it is a, a lot of travel and expense that you run into mm -hmm. for other people's joy. And just think, at some point, Haley's going to get married, and you think mm. it's expensive now. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I know. We did have a talk about wedding stuff this this time, mm -hmm. and I said, I said honestly, what do you what do you want? Like, she's like, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, that's good. Uh, and I said, I would do the Disney wedding for you. Uh, we would pay for that, like getting married at Disney, because she and her boyfriend. Uh, both work there and they love it and they geek out about it and stuff and so it would it would make sense but you can only invite a certain amount of people and then you could do like a party afterwards but it's a really small group and so I'm like I would do that that'd be great and it's not as expensive as you think it's way cheaper than my friend's wedding at like a wedding venue way cheaper like a third at least a third wow. and so I'm like mm -hmm, I like this <laughs> but I don't know I I want to be so cheap on this thing and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get fought every step of the way mm -hmm. yeah Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> you just like Betty likes when I lose money. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's get into some of the stuff that uh, we didn't do on the show today, like a new kind of strip club. Uh, what? <laughs> Betty's like, where are you going with Explain. this? Jeez. Yeah, okay. It's a Chick Fil A chicken strip club. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know you're still f like Chick Fil A. Believe it or not, is buying a restaurant site. <laughs> At a strip club oh in Portland. <laughs> yeah. Oh my so there's this there's this location that's been a strip club. Sadly, there was like a, a shooting there that somebody died in the parking well, that's lot. Kind of serious. Um, I know. But 
but this place has been other things. It's been uh, Tony Roma's. It's been a Hooters. And so Chick-fil-A, I guess it's a good location. So they're buying this uh, club, and I think they're going to tear it all down and start over with it. Hmm. Um, but so, yeah, they're redeeming it. Jesus Chicken is redeeming the strip club location. They have offered all the women that work there uh, jobs if they want them. No, they have not. No, they have not. But that would be funny. You said it's a good location, but I mean, those are businesses, Tony Roma's yeah. and Hooters. Hooters. Yeah. Like, that went if under. They, yeah, if they can't get people in. Then. I've always wondered that. You see like a location, but Chick-fil-A, I think Chick-fil-A knows will beat all of these odds. But like other, other we have them in, in my town where I live. There's this one uh, location that's been about three different things, and it's right on the main drag. There's no reason why it doesn't survive. Mm. There's a light to get in and out of it, but for whatever reason, it's mm. jinxed or something. Um, but this was the inter- here's the most interesting thing about this, other than the strip club thing I thought was funny. Um, they did the permits last year, so this has been in the works for a while. But they did the permits for the restaurant, and there's not a permit for a drive through. Like that seems counter to what Chick Fil A does. Wait, so it's going to be a Chick Fil A with no drive through? A standing Chick Fil A, possibly without a drive through, unless they're doing something else. I don't know. You know, it's really weird, and I think we've talked about this before. There's a Sonic down the street from the station, and it's the only Sonic I know with the drive through Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and then in uh, in uh, Dallas, right near Love Airport, there's a Chick-fil-A that's only drive through Like, mm. they don't have a, a, yeah. a sitting there. There's one of those up in Nashville. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And so this one is interesting if they go the opposite way, where mm-hmm. it's just seating and no drive through because their drive throughs are the worst. We went to uh, the Chick Fil A over here the other day, and and I told my I asked my wife and daughter, okay, we're going to lunch. We don't we can't we got to go to a fast place. Where do you want to go? And neither one of them can make up a mind. And I'm like, okay, we'll go to Chick Fil A. I know you both like it. And they're like, yeah, hooray! <laughs> and so as we pull in, I look at my watch. I'm like, you idiot! Twelve thirty, mm. noon. You know, mm. basically packed all the way around mm-hmm. the thing. Had to do two laps to get parking, mm. and I'm like, Dad, gum it. Uh, and because the drive through messes everything up. But I went inside. We were the only people in line. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. This is really good. But the drive through at Chick fil A is the worst. I know you complain worst. about the drive through at Chick fil A, but I don't think there's anything to complain about. Like, I haven't had bad experiences yeah, like at Chick fil A. Uh, they're pretty, I mean, while efficient. they are long, they right. are efficient. They're gr- No, as far as drive throughs go, they're good at it. Like, even like when we walked. You literally said they're the worst. Yeah. The, the, like, like the line is the worst. Like, it's a long line to get your food, and it drives me nuts. They, they as far as them working it, they've done the best you can do with a drive. If that drive through was at Burger King, like the same amount of people, forget it. Well, that's the thing too. Like, the line might be shorter at Burger King, but they're still going to get your order wrong. <laughs> Absolutely. Whereas at Chick Fil A, yeah. the line might be longer, but you're going to get what you ordered. Like, for example, this is their uh, people at Chick Fil A are really good though. So uh, the line you have to walk through the drive through now because it wraps around the building to get into the building. And they have a little crosswalk, and it was like cars were kind of blocked up, so I kind of had to go at an angle. And I tried to walk down to the crosswalk and go because there was a guy working for chick fil right there. And he noticed that, and I had to go at an angle. He goes, I see you. You tried to use the crosswalk. Thank you. But, yeah, not your fault on this one. I'm like, yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. So as I come back out, he remembers, and he stopped two cars and was like, here's your crosswalk, sir. I'm mm. like, nice. Good on you, man. Mm-hmm. Like, that's 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 the they're difference. They're not going to do that at McDonald's. No, they're not going to do that at McDonald's. They're going to spit on you as you try to, <laughs> oh like, goodness. yeah, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> um, so, anyway, there's that. You know, we've talked about recycling a lot, you know, and how you think you're doing the right thing by saving the planet mm-hmm. and you're so passionate about it and God bless you. But so much of the stuff, a, a fraction of what you recycle actually gets recycled. Mm-hmm. Uh, ABC News did a thing the other day where they put, you know, when you, my wife refuses to throw away like pa- plastic uh, grocery bags, refuses, always balls them up and takes them to Walmart or Kroger and puts them in the bin where they can be recycled. Yeah. She will not throw them away. Yeah. I cannot wait to share this story with her. Uh, ABC News put trackers in the Walmart bins of bags Mm -hmm. to see where they went and if they were recycled. And uh, tons of their stuff leaves the country, goes to Malaysia, and is just burned, thrown in, like where it's somebody else's problem. There are these... um, illegal dumping sites for this kind of stuff that people live around 
and it's 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 not our problem. We don't see it, but it's still affecting somebody else, and it's still killing the environment. You know, if you believe in that, it's Why so aren't crazy. Why they just recycling it? Because it costs too much money to recycle. That's the fallacy of it. It costs too much money, and then the companies, it's cheaper for them to buy regular plastic than recycled plastic, so it hurts their bottom line, so they don't do it. They buy regular plastic. Hmm. And so the the fallacy of recycling is it makes you feel good, but you're not actually doing good. That's mm-hmm. the that's the thing. And we do this. We do this inside of our faith. Mm-hmm. We do this inside so many things. We do something that feels good, but you're like, well, that doesn't make any sense, you mm-hmm. know, when you get down to it. Mm-hmm. And so I I, I definitely want to uh, show her this. And they do it from the perspective of a lady who lives like right at one of the towns. And like she's like, you are killing my family. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's it's pretty heavy handed. Um, but it's it very rarely do you see stories that go counter to the narrative, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you're never going to see anything bad about Biden on ABC News. But like uh, this is an interesting thing that ABC News would go counter to the narrative. Will this change Marty's way of recycling? Probably not, because she's like, well, a little is better than nothing. But that's the problem. Like, I always hate things that are, so, you know, you're just doing it like when people change their uh, profile picture. I call it slack division, uh, slack divism, like. Instead of doing something that actually matters, you change your profile picture. Stand with Ukraine. You know mm-hmm. what did you actually do? Did you donate? Did you help? Did you stay with Ukraine? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Recycle, and then you're not actually doing anything. Like that's mm-hmm. the stuff that drives me nuts. Mm-hmm. Like if I'm going to complain about something, I should do something. So I'm not going to recycle. That's me, like complaining about it and doing the right thing. So you heard it here first. Yep. <laughs> He's Wally at a, wayfm.com. Making a difference. Yeah, I am making a difference one bag at a time. Uh, Lady Rock, what do you got? I have the eight bad habits that make you age faster. And I know I if you're all. a woman, if you're a woman, you're constantly berated with the messages of, you look old, you can't have wrinkles, but don't are do you? it. And, and, and who's that? doing yes, that? because it's all on Instagram, it's on TikTok, it's on okay. all of them. He's going to okay. blame women. Here you go. Here you go. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right now. How many influencers, how many guys have you seen on Instagram going, man, I got to tell you, ladies, you need to tighten your skin up. Exactly. Who's doing it? The women. Women. You're doing it to each other. Oh, I agree with She's you. She's not going to argue that. But, I'm, but what I'm saying is when you log on to TikTok or Instagram, you're not just bombarded with all of these messages saying, you need to do better. You need to look better. Like right. you don't need to age. Age is Guys not appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. Guys don't deal with that. Women do. Well, because it, we don't put it on ourselves. Right. That's the but thing. I'm saying it doesn't matter that women are putting it on women. Yeah. The truth is women get this message all the time. Mm. Okay. So, and two, you will say yeah. you hear a lot about men leaving their wives, older wives for younger women. So maybe there is some truth to it. Well, you hear stories of it, but I feel like it's not. I've never seen it. I feel happen. like I, I feel like I've never no. actually seen a drastic. No. I example, I do understand celebrities. I here's what I would tell you. And too, like men can see what they think are perfect women right. on wrong on the wrong sites, right. or they can see them on movies, TV right. shows, that's true. and then you as a female are sitting there thinking, "Is he thinking that's what beautiful is?" and He's right. looking at me mm-hmm. thinking, Ooh. right. I get that. There is a subcontext of if this is what's considered desirable mm-hmm. to men, mm-hmm. then women are trying to accomplish that. Yeah. But they're the ones putting the pressure on each other. But because of the subcontext of this is what's seen as desirable. Mm-hmm. And so I do understand that. And so it, it's whether it's women putting pressure on or whether it's women trying to help each other, um, it, it is a difficult thing because i i've 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 watched my wife internalize things i've watched you internalize mm-hmm. things before things i've said uh about something i see on tv or somebody's appearance and then you think well if you think that about her then what do you think about me mm-hmm. and no one said that but you internalize it or my wife internalizes that yeah but i think it's kind of like the same when you were talking about when you and marty were dating and you really liked the fact that she never mentioned John Bon Jovi right. or anything. She never said, ooh, he's hot right. or all that. It, you liked that. I did. I okay. Did. So it's the same for women, too. Like, if you're sitting there talking to your man at a restaurant and you see his eye just right. gradually right. move over, miss eye contact because right. some young girl walked by, right. it's the same thing. I understand that. I do understand so that. So you feel like you need to get 
in tip top shape, no wrinkles, dyed hair, no gray hair. Yeah. But the thing is, is that the the bar is getting so high that no woman can actually meet that mark I do unless understand they that. have millions of dollars. I understand that. And I want to clarify something like the things that I've said about people on TV, I've not said, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's stunning. She's beautiful. I wouldn't do that because that's not what I do. But I will. I have said, oh, wow, she's looking rough. You know, mm-hmm. and oh, ooh, she's gotten bigger, you mm-hmm. know, and mm-hmm. so like I, my things are like negative comments to which then my wife internalizes. Oh, if this is mm-hmm. a star that you think has gotten mm-hmm. bigger and I don't, don't have the same body that I had right. when we got married, you must think that about me. Yeah. You know, and so I see I see that. But yeah. I'm not like that pig that's out there going, oh, she's hot. Yeah. I don't well, do that. But I think for men, aging is more accepted. Absolutely. Acceptable. Yeah. Whereas with women, it is not. Uh, so anyways, this might be helpful for you because these are some natural things you can do to prevent yourself from aging faster. One of those is smoking. Don't mm-hmm. smoke. Don't vape. Don't do any of that. Stay away even from secondhand smoke because that can age you as well. Mm, poor Another Betty. One. Yeah. What? You have to avoid secondhand smoke. You love yourself some secondhand I smoke. Do. <laughs> I do. Uh, number two, too much oh, wait, sun? Sorry. Too much sun. Yeah. Okay, so you need to stock up on sunscreen. I know that we want to tan, but we can get the spray tans, maybe some of those tinted lotions, perhaps. Mm-hmm. But you do want that sun-kissed look. And yeah. That's, that's my so wife hard. does not like the sun. Dracula has a better tan than my wife. My yeah. wife will not go outside. Like she, she has your home as Antarctica. Yeah. Inside. Well, she and she's really, really scared of getting cancer, like her mom. You mm-hmm. know, and and so I get, I get exactly where. So what it does comes she do from. when she goes swimming? She does doesn't go swimming. Oh, she doesn't. Does she wear shorts? Uh, yeah, she wears shorts. She won't wear like a bathing suit per se. Well, she wear a bathing suit. Wears shorts over it. We just got her because we're going to Hawaii in October, I think. Mm-hmm. And she, we just got her a swim shirt that's a long sleeve swim shirt that's like anti-UV, and the only thing she'll do is Lazy River. We got her on oh. a Lazy River recently, which I was pretty impressed, but it was an indoor Lazy River, but you know what? Baby oh, steps. Baby steps. Oh, goodness. Another one, a bad diet. If you eat a lot of processed food and yeah. stuff loaded with sugar and saturated fat, that can make your skin age faster. Mm, I don't believe that one. <laughs> Not exercising. We need to exercise. Oh. Uh, it, we can lose bone and muscle mass, so just... I found that exercise. I'm not like working out or anything, but I've got, I have like two shoulder injuries that I have to get worked out and I'm finding because I favor them and I don't, I can't lift a lot of things because of them. Like they, they just give way mm-hmm. that now I feel it like in my triceps and in my arms, like they've gotten weaker. Mm-hmm. Like if I had to defend myself right now, I would be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I mean, I would be like just flailing with my wrists and hope to smack somebody so hard it knocked them out with my wrist. And that little jingling sound you heard, that's his bracelet. That's my bracelet, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'd hope to la- they'd laugh at me so hard that they wouldn't uh, kill me. Uh, the last two, uh, bad sleep. You'll yeah. look younger longer if you make sure you're well rested. You know what? I'll tell my wife that. I'm like, you're doing great on the sun. Uh, you're not eating well and you're not sleeping. So that's that's your problem. And then she will say, well, I can't sleep. Uh, cause she, she just, Don't tell she, her she sleeps has a problem. so bad. Don't, well, yeah. that might be you. No, I good clean living on me. I'm out in five <laughs> minutes. And then finally, chronic stress, long-term stress. Mm. It limits your body's ability to repair itself. So, I'm surprised water wasn't on that list. Like drink so yeah, much water. Yeah, I have heard like you need you to drink a lot of water to yeah. keep yourself hydrated. Cause when you're dehydrated, maybe that goes with the bad diet. Yeah. Cause sugars can dehydrate you. Yeah. So. Stress is, yeah, stress is a big one. Like, I think about my wife and, like, she, I'm like, what do you have to be stressed about? Like, your life is pretty great. Betty's like, I would I would want her life. Her life I know, is right? like my dream. Uh, me too. I want her mm-hmm. life. You kidding me? Like, mm-hmm. my daughter's taking a new job and she has, she's probably going to have to go to Spain to shoot, uh, like, uh, some promotional videos and stuff for it. And they asked my wife if my wife wanted to go. Uh, with them and yes. she's like oh I can't that just wouldn't be fair to Wally but like my wife could drop yeah and nine, go yeah nine days yeah. just go yeah. yeah and I can't who I, can't who can do that yeah I know no right one but Marty yeah I know I gotta come to work and I gotta and Betty and I still gotta go to work you know I, I gotta uh, but fortunately she's not she did the right thing by not going oh really oh yeah 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 she was like that's not fair I'm not gonna do that so that was the only reason though that she said probably it's not fair. would have been yeah. free though right no, no, we would oh. have to pay for it. Oh, okay. No, okay. no, no. If, oh. it, if it was free, I would have told her to go. Yeah. Honestly, okay. I'm like, yo. Totally. But she's like, I don't want to do Spain without you, bud. Like, so I'm like, good, thank you. That's good. That's the right she answer. She doesn't 
She's telling you she doesn't want to do it without you. But she would. Uh, <laughs> She'd drop you in a heartbeat. Oh, I know, I know. Spain <laughs> if it didn't him? look bad. Disney yeah. in Spain, I know. I'm in. Oh, yeah. If it was France and Euro Disney, yeah, she'd go. Uh, <laughs> then I wouldn't even falter. She'd I'm be like, like Wally who? Yeah. So, yeah, so she <laughs> has, too. yeah, she she definitely has uh, That's that life. too, that, you know, as single women, it's not fair. Like, mm. as a married woman, you can be taken care of right. and stay home. Right. I would love to be you a married get woman. That. Me and too. two with a married as a married woman, you can uh have a, a bridal shower. Yeah. You can have the baby shower. Yeah. As a single woman, I gotta buy all my I own know, things. I know. And you've already bought all the and things you need. I have to go to work. I know. Because no one else is gonna pay my bills. I know. I get it. I get it. I it's, better get a good crown in heaven. I know. Yeah. I mean a or, better a better castle than others. Yeah, absolutely. I do yeah. take that back when if you get married though. Like yeah, but he came later in my life. He's yeah. missed my 20s. Pretty much missed my 30s. You're, you're well, your 20s were a disaster, yeah. let's be honest. So, no, I'm just kidding. Excuse <laughs> me? Oh, you were difficult in the 20s, no. You, you've you been difficult in your 30s, 40s, and I know, 50s. I know, but that's 20s, me, and 10. I love me. Oh, but that's just me. I just love me. That's I'm, just how God made me. I'm a project. Oh, what am I going to say? That's yeah, great. I, I have no problem with me. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so anyway, yeah, but back to, like, I was like, man, my wife doesn't have anything to be stressed about. But then, like, we were talking about it, and she carries so much stress for other people like she carries a great amount of stress for our daughter she stresses out about me before her brother passed away she was really stressed about him and his relationship with god and stuff like that and like she carries this stuff and her brain won't shut off mm. when she's lying in bed at night and she's praying for people and thinking stuff and, and it's just it, it it's hard for her mm. and for me i work like weird hours and stuff and so like i'm always kind of tired so my brain when i go to bed nine times out of ten shuts off immediately mm -hmm. and then i'm out the nights when it won't shut off that's when i get a glimpse into her every night mm -hmm. you know and it's miserable so. do y'all talk to each other at night yeah when you can't sleep like, yeah hey, are you asleep no yeah every asleep? once in a no. while or usually in the morning, it's funny because we try to compare who slept less because we're like, <laughs> oh, man. Well, we we actually, it's funny because we literally will be like, I'll be like, oh, man, you were snoring last night. And she'll be like, oh, really? Yeah, so were you. And I'm like, yeah, I remember looking at the clock at like 1.30 and you were, <sighs> she's like, yeah, I saw you at 3 o'clock in the morning just rolling around. <laughs> and like, we're like trying, we're like chronicling how late we were each up and when we saw the other person not awake, you know? <laughs> it's like a contest. We're trying to win, I guess. I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, what do you got for birthday situation? No birthday. All right. And what do you got for weekend plans? Weekend, weekend plans. Weekend Seven's got them weekend plans. Woo! All right. Because my wife will ask me every day. I know it's not Friday, but she will ask me, what are Betty and Gavin doing? Mm -hmm. So let's start with Gavin. Uh, I working tomorrow. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to, I think, commit to rebuilding that uh that little, oh, the thing you built wrong. The thing I built wrong. Good, you should. Because it's gonna take some. Yeah, it's gonna take some. You have to take it apart. It's a full take apart. That's okay. So, but that's, that's okay. Right. It'll it'll be good for you. Do you it's have all the good, tools? Yeah, good learning experience. Uh, good, good, just good for. Is her dad gonna be here? Getting it done. Yeah. So okay. That's why we're good. <laughs> her dad's in town. Yep. <laughs> he can show you how to rebuild yep. it. <laughs> it'll be fun. He'll end up doing it. Dad, I'll be like. Oh. I hurt my thumb. And then do, you, I, do you need more lemonade, sir? <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got to look into, because we do have the stroller, and I'm curious about, I don't think that needs to be built yet, because we have a few no. months until yeah, then, time. but I've got to move some stuff into our shed. So. Build, the, b b build the stroller and the pack and play earlier so you know how to do it. The I've seen people fight with strollers, mm -hmm. and it's this. It's some of them are complicated. Most of them are simple. But the pack and play, yeah. that thing that folds up into like that rectangular cube mm -hmm. thing. Oh my gosh, some of those are a disaster. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I also want to get. Oh, I, I've heard that those are. I also want to get a handle on getting the car seat in the car. Yes. Because oh, yeah. I don't want to be panicking. Yeah. Come time. Can I give you a trick? Please. Okay. This is the thing. This is how you do it. So you want the thing locked in really good. Yeah. Okay. So when Can't you're move. putting when you're putting it in there before you put the baby in there, this is key. Do not have the baby <laughs> in the car seat. You put oh. your knee in the car seat and you put all your weight into the car seat so as you, you pull push the, it. as you pull the seat belt down and you click it and then you get it to go back you take the slack back out and then that way when you release your weight it comes up but just a very little bit and it's locked in there mm. solid mm -hmm. so there you go pro tip dad tip pro tip yep Love that's it. what that's, that's a good one. yep a, a, a police officer taught me how to do that <laughs> 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Back in the day when I was a new dad, and he's like, like it. "Let me show you how to do this, sir." I'm like, okay, great. <laughs> and he called you sir, but he thought you were the mom. Yeah, he said, "Ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, let me get this for you." <laughs> with your long hair. Yeah, it's funny because yeah, I had long hair when we had Haley, and uh, we have a picture of her and I in the same like baseball jersey uh, with both of us with long hair. Ma'am, funny. don't you worry. I know. I'm here, I'm here to help. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can't be too far along. <laughs> <laughs> or are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sad thing, I looked nine months pregnant. Uh, Lady Rock, what are you doing? You know, I have had this goal in my mind for maybe maybe two weeks now um, that I want to go through my whole closet Ooh. and just start all over. Okay. So I have some things in there that have just been sitting there and I don't wear them anymore. Or there's something about it that I'm like, well, I need to put a little stitch here or there. And mm-hmm. it's like, I'm never going to do it. I just need to get rid of it. You know what I love on this? People who love sustainability will love this because you are... Uh, providing the circle of life. Everything that came from Goodwill will go back to Goodwill. <laughs> it's the circle of life. And it moves the <laughs> Yes. Um, so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go through my shoes. Betty all has that. so many shirts. I'm like, oh, where'd you get that shirt? That's an interesting little logo thing. I don't know. I got it from Goodwill. Like, yeah, like, I, I don't Like them. you have no connection to it, which no. I think is really funny and unique. But when you do get rid of things, do you, do, you, don't, do you plan on going and getting other new stuff or yes. is it going to be because that's the thing that Haley will do is that she'll go through a, a phase where she's like I got to get rid of stuff and mm-hmm. then I'm like sweet we need more room in the closet and then yeah. a and month you refill will, it but then a month later I'm like yeah. this is more full uh, than when we here, tried to here's empty what it. My, my, my dream scenario is I'm going to go through my shoes I'm going to go through my clothes and I'm going to get rid of probably two garbage bags full mm-hmm. okay then that's a lot if I oh. have that much, oh, I know. If I have that Ooh. much, I'm not really sure if I have that much because my closet is not. I big. can do that anyway. I believe that easy. Um, so then I'm gonna. This is gonna have to be a separate day because it's gonna take a lot of mental capability from me to do it because I hate clothes shopping. Is maybe maybe go to the mall. Ooh, oh, just saying the words yeah. make me want to Not, vomit yeah. everywhere. Yeah. But I need to get the basics, okay? And thoughts and prayers already appreciated because I might go on another jean journey. Oh, no. Okay? No. Because the last jean journey like I did was pairs. horrible, yeah. okay? And it, it just was not good. And I need to start over. If okay? you just if you just know it going in that day, you okay. My goal today is to yes. come out with minimum of one, hopefully two pairs of jeans. My, what, what my and dream then you try scenario them all would on be then. right. My dream scenario would be I find a cut and a fit that I love, yeah. and they have it in yeah. every color, yeah. and 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 I can just get them all Go to right there. And the, I don't even mind if yeah. I got to pay like fifty bucks per. Yeah. Per jean, jean, because I, they will, they'll last, especially if I love them. So I need to get jeans. I need to get maybe a good pair of sneakers. I need to get like a good jacket. Just, I, just the basics. I and rotated all my that. shoes out. I had had Adidas shoes for a long time, and I loved them. They felt good. They were comfortable. And then I tried this pair of Vans, like their more comfortable Vans, not their skater Vans. And I got rid of all of my. Adidas, and mm-hmm. I replace them with all Vans, mm-hmm. and then I have a feeling that eventually I'll replace all my Vans with I, orthopedics. For, yeah, yes, with Velcro <laughs> shoes. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like I tend to get like the same of things that I like. Yeah. like my jeans. I have four pairs of the exact same pair of jeans because I yeah. like the way they fit. And mm-hmm. I like the color, and so I just, I have those. Count yourself who, plus. Yeah, who needs variants? Not on jeans, no, because no. it's the same. Count yourself And then I have plus. one pair of light jeans that I very rarely wear. Mm. I, I used to always have light jeans. But mm-hmm. yeah, so I, yeah, if you come out of there, you just know it's going to stink, and it's just one day you're going to try on a billion pairs of yeah. jeans. You're not going to like 99% mm-hmm. of them, but you're going to find that one. Yeah, and I might get my mom to come with me and That'd just be, be like, I'll treat you to food. Just please walk with me and... Calm me down. Walk with me through this jersey. Psalms 23, this with me. (laughs) (laughs) And yea, though though I walk through the valley of jeans. I shall wear no evil. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the truth. I cannot stand the mall. It's a bummer I how cannot. stressed you are about yeah. this. I love going to the mall. Yeah. Do I, you? I love shopping. Well, you're with your people, your girls. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, Me and the I'm ladies. just in my jean era. Jean era. I'm just in my um yeah. cookie era. They're I gonna w- go to the cookie store. I wish I was in my jean era. I'm in stretchy <laughs> pants <laughs> right now. 
<laughs> yeah, when we were on the compassion trip, there was this uh, young guy, two young guys, Andrew and Jay Mike, mm-hmm. and uh, they both wore like joggers that were mm-hmm. kind of like the skinny joggers down to your ankle. I'm like, oh, that's a good look. And I have a couple pairs of those, but I very rarely wear them. Oh, no. I know, but I'm like, I think I want to get some more joggers. <laughs> oh my gosh, we haven't even talked about this. What? So Wally tried a new look. Oh, the Pastor Chad you're look. You're copying Pastor I Chad. I freed my ankles and I yeah, loved so it. so he started rolling his pants. Yes, can above he? my ankles. And it's shocking to me that he can even have room in his tight pants yeah. to roll them up, well, these but are, he did. The pair that I had were more of a, not a, a straight cut. They weren't the skinny jeans, so they were like the oh, active pants. Forbid. And so, yeah, I'd seen Chad roll his uh, Target pants, and I'm like, at first I was like, that's odd. But then I'm like, you know what? That doesn't look that bad. And then when I did it, and my ankles were freed, it was so hot down there, <laughs> and my ankles were free, I was like, this is amazing. Is it cool to you guys in here? I know, and I, oh, I loved it. Yeah, so I, I actually, I did. I, and, I, and I copped to it. I'm like, Chad, I'm still in your freezy ankles uh, <laughs> jean look or pant look, man. Oh. man. You gonna start wearing shorts to work now? No, no. Just Although getting... I have good calves, I can do it. But like... Gavin broke out the shorts yesterday. Did, did he really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Thanks for not noticing. Good job. You had shorts on yesterday? Yeah. Good job not noticing. That's Why crazy. is that a good job for Because he's not looking at right. my legs. Betty oh. Rock, wore, it's funny, Betty Rock wore shorts. Betty Rock never wears shorts. I've seen and, her wear shorts once for uh, moving. Yeah. Uh, one, yeah. uh, moving, it. and then one time we did this workout video thing that we had to do, and that's mm-hmm. the only time she's ever worn shorts. But mm-hmm. it was so funny because on the trip she wore shorts on the last day, and she had leggings on underneath them. I did because I knew I was going to get cold. Now, on a and flight. I, yeah. And I was right. But mm-hmm. why'd you wear the shorts over the leggings? Because they were long why shorts, wear... and you always just wear the leggings anyway. Leggings. Well, because, well, here's the thing with being a girl. Yeah. I didn't shave my legs. Okay. okay so I got Ugh. that working again. But you had me. leggings, so it was covering that. So mostly. I had the leggings, but I couldn't wear the leggings on their own because I didn't have a shirt long enough to cover my butt. Oh, yeah. I got you. Okay. So I have to wear both. Okay. It's complicated. I got you. It is complicated. When I say mm-hmm. it is good to be a guy, sure. it is because it's- you could just. Wear whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Where with girls, you got to think about everything. I get that. I get that. That's not fair. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm oh, going yeah. to a wedding. I'm going to my nephew's oh, wedding. Yeah. And so. You have, to spend any, have you spent any money? Uh, just on hotel and mm. driving. Are you going to pass a bucket? And bugles. Uh, yeah, we might. You want me to stop for something? <gasps> yes, but what do I want? Uh, I I, I'm not guaranteeing that we'll stop, but tell me what you want. If I stop, then I will. A new hat? Maybe a new shirt. Oh, she wants clothing. Oh, what in the world? I was picturing food. A food order. No, oh, I, you, I don't oh want, you have a birthday coming up too. I don't want any taffy. You do. Okay, you have a birthday coming up. Is yeah. there any Bucky's gear you like? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah just, what Bucky's gear does she not like? Yeah, right. She I'm does wear the hat that I got her and the jacket that I got. Or did I get you the hat? I think I did. Well, maybe no, you did. I did the you hat. I got the. I got the. You got the. You got me a t-shirt and the sweat jacket. And that black jacket thing. Yeah. Uh okay well maybe well keep that in mind oh yeah just keep I don't it in know. mind Got chapstick socks up. pajama pants okay oh pajama pants anything oh. with Bucky oh well okay. that makes it easier a Thank tumbler you. that's good. remember the one year I did the whole Bucky's birthday for you it was all Bucky stuff yeah, that was last paper yeah a, a a toilet seat cover I'll take it oh my it. goodness. Really? Uh, so, 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 so the cheesiest the better. Oh, I love it. That's the sure. less easy. useful the better. A blow yes. up yard. Uh, I tried thing. to get that for you for Christmas. Yeah, I have the, no place to put it. I know. It, I was going to get that for could, you. Maybe all my cats would butcher it. No, that lady that uh, charged her Tesla out of her uh, apartment across from you, uh, oh, you could yeah. run an outside uh, Bucky's thing. <laughs> I'm sure my neighbors would love, love that. that. Like, oh, there mm. goes the neighborhood. Anyway. Yeah, so that's all I'm doing. But then it's funny because my wife goes, um, hey, do you want me to... She texted me the other day. She's like, do you want me to get some snacks for the trip? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So sugar wafers... Uh, pretzels and bugles. So we get home and I see the sugar wafers and the pretzels on the table. Where are the bugles? And I said, I said, oh, there were no bugles. That's weird. And she goes, oh no, there was just a giant family bag. I'm like, and the problem? <laughs> and my daughter looks at me. She goes, I told her. And uh, and I I said, why didn't you get them? And she goes, because we already have some. But I'm like, they're old. And uh, oh, I can't have old no, bugles. No. Are you kidding this? me? And I'm like, we can take the bugles Your out standards. of the giant bag and put them in a Ziploc bag. Like, why would we not do the bugles? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. And, so th- and, th- this, and I don't know why, but it was bothering me. <laughs> and so my daughter, there. my daughter's getting there, uh, sitting there, getting to watch this unfold. And I said, okay, look. And I'm trying to say this without an attitude <laughs> or with anger in my voice. But if you're going to ask me what I want. Mm. 
and then not do it. Oh, tell me about that's it. That's worse than not asking me. Mm-hmm. You know, like yes. I know, right? This world's not right. fair. You're looking at me like I do this to you, but yes. I don't think I do. Well, when you How? Well, because when you're like I just I just want to I want to think about you. I want to put you first, all these things. Yeah. And then I will ask you to do certain things like okay, but I gave you a sticker. Uh-huh. I gave you a sticker yeah. with chewing with your yeah. mouth closed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you started doing that. Yeah. But 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 walk into our office right now. Walk in there. What are you going to find? My heater's your heat, off. Your heater's off? Yeah, you asked me to turn the heater off. I am going to give you a sticker, and sir. And because it's so easy for him. your <laughs> <laughs> that this is what happens when you're a horrible person, Gavin. Yeah, it's easier. Yeah, this bar is set really yeah. really low. It's tough. No, but I prioritized mm-hmm. your comfort you did. ahead of mine because I'm always a little chilled in the office and so <laughs> I turned it off so that you could be comfortable. I do appreciate See? that. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, we're good. I I yeah. don't ignore you. Oh no, you don't ignore me. No, 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 no. No, no I try to, I try to help out. Yeah. Um, but, what, what, but then my wife, it was bothering her, and so today she's like, "I'm going to the store, getting you bugles." I'm like, "Perfect. Should have done it yesterday." No. <laughs> Did you? No, gosh, oh. no. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Yeah. Moving on. In my head, that's what I was texting. Yeah. <laughs> what if you had done that to her? Like, if you had said, "Hey, I'm stopping at so and so. Do you need anything?" And yeah. then you came home without that thing because yeah. you were like, "Well, you have some. They're just well." Here's what's funny, because yesterday she was coming home with uh, pizza, and she likes uh, Dr. Pepper with her pizza, but she puts her Dr. Pepper in the freezer 10 minutes before, so it gets really cold. So I'm at home, I'm playing my driving game, and she uh, is coming home with lunch, and she goes, (laughs) she goes, she called, she goes, hey, would you put my Dr. Pepper in the freezer, like, in two minutes from now? And so I'm like, okay. So I'm doing my driving game. It clocks in halfway through the first lap, and I and I see it's at two minutes. I'm halfway point. So I go, okay, when I get past this lap, I'll hit pause. That's exactly two mm-hmm. minutes and 20 seconds. Mm-hmm. So at two minutes and 20 seconds, <laughs> nice. I go and I put lap. her, I pause. I put her thing in the thing, and she comes home, and I'm sitting there racing, and 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 she looks at Haley, my daughter, and and she's like, "This is probably why my uh, Dr Pepper is not in the freezer." And I'm like, "Oh no, oh no, ma'am! Open that freezer! <laughs> Open it now!" Okay, this is why you asked, and I delivered. Unlike the bugles. <laughs> <laughs> and you say your daughter's dramatic, and you're not sure where she got I it. I do not know. No <laughs> clue. Something theatrical about. Yeah. No that clue where, the, where she gets huh. that. Bugle All right. Gate. Bugle 98. Gate. All right. That's going to do it for our aftercast. We'll be back with a live aftercast again on Monday. So I'm sorry we're not here tomorrow, but have a great weekend and enjoy your Friday. Growing up in poverty has never been easy for children, but with the added challenges of the pandemic, conflict, and natural disasters, families around the world are facing an unprecedented food crisis. Unfortunately, those who are already hungry are now even more desperate. But by sponsoring a child through compassion, you can help provide life-sustaining essentials such as food and clean water. And with your compassionate support, that child can not only survive, but also flourish. You can find out how and choose a child to sponsor when you click on the compassion banner at wayfm.com.